Hey, what's up lovelies and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing this full, full, uh, fall glam look for you guys, but I'm going to do something a little different today. In this video, I'm going to go ahead and do the giveaway in the beginning and then you can skip on over to watch the video. This is going to be my second attempt of a voiceover, so let's pray this goes well. Um, I'm just going to put these up on the screen and I'll list in the description box what they are. So the only, this is going to be, um, I've been really into, um, face care here lately so either a lot of these that I'm giving away are either travel sizes that I have full sizes in or I've already tried them so I know how they, they work good for me hopefully they'll work good for you but I am going to include this in um, today's giveaway this is a living proof full dry volume blast it's just an instant lasting volume and texture spray this came in my lot uh, it's full it came in my um, Lexi the boxy charm Lexi box and I don't use stuff like this I don't ever put volume in my hair or anything so I didn't want it to go to waste like I said it's a full it's a full deal so I am gonna go ahead and include that in this giveaway and then the rest of the stuff I'll go ahead and put on the screen right now All right guys, this is just a small little giveaway. So all you have to do to be entered is be subscribed to my channel, like this video and drop a comment down below and you can be entered. So without further ado, if you wanna see how I created this look, then continue watching. Alright guys, I've already prepped and taped my eyes. I'm going to be using the Daisy Marquez palette for this look. I'm going to pick up a fluff brush and I'm going to go ahead and dust the shade naked. Just going to get a little bit, bit of that color just to dust over the primer just to kind of set it all in place. I'm then going to pick up a JS5 fluff brush and pick up the shade Passion, Passion Fruit. Excuse me. I'm going to get that good and on my brush, tap it off, and then I'm going to start that in my crease. I'm going to work that back and forth, and I'm going to really build up that shade. I'm going to drag it to the inner and the outer, and then kind of drag it more out to the outer part. Just going to continue to work that in until I get it the shade that I want. I'm then going to pick up a JS6 brush and I'm going to get into the shade Bittersweet. And I'm going to work that right underneath Passion Fruit. I'm going to also build it up. That's just a deeper maroon shade. I'm just going to build it up, take it from the inner to the outer. And then just really blend those two together. All right, guys, then I'm just going to take this little Luxie fluff brush and pick up the shade Coco. And I'm going to work that on the outer part of my eye and just take it halfway in on the eyelid and blend it into the shade Bittersweet. All right, guys, I got ahead of myself a little bit and forgot to show you the brush, but that's just an Olimar flat brush. I just picked up the shade Bougie. And I'm just going to kind of cut my crease with that. I'm not using any concealer to cut it. I'm just using that shimmer shade. And I'm going to go to about halfway where I stopped the shade Coco. And just work that in. I did, to, after I worked it in with this brush, I did use my finger to kind of go um, over it. Just to give it a little bit more pigmentation. Now I remember to show you guys. Alright guys, I'm just going to take my eyelash colors and go ahead and curl my eyelashes. Then I'm just going to apply a few coats of mascara. And then I'm going to go ahead and apply some falsies. If you guys want a video on that, just let me know down in the comments. Alright guys, I went ahead and removed the tape. The duo adhesive is still drying. That's why you see the white on my lash. Alright, let's go to the other side. 
All right, guys, I went ahead and uh, finished up the other eye off camera. Now we're going to do the under eye. I'm just going to get a flat brush and we're going to pick up bittersweet. Uh, no, actually, we're going to pick up passion fruit first. And I'm just going to run that underneath my eye. I'm going to do that, that powder all over my mirror. I'm going to do that on both sides. I'm just going to take it from the outer corner and work it all the way in. All right, I'm now going to pick up bittersweet. I'm going to take it on the same flat brush and I'm also going to run that underneath my eye. I want to get that a little bit closer to the lash line though. And then lastly, I'm going to take the shade Coco on that Luxe fluff brush and I'm just going to blend those two shades in. I'm then going to pick up the shade Stunt and I'm just going to work that on the corner of both of my eyes. And I'm just going to take whatever is left on that brush and go ahead and highlight my brow bone as well. I'm going to go ahead and take some mascara and go ahead and coat my lower lashes. I'm then going to take this fluff brush and go ahead and dust away all that setting powder that I had applied on my face. I'm going to take it real smooth and just kind of go over, being sure not to shift any of the product that I've already laid down. I'm then gonna take my favorite butter bronzer and just bronze up my face a little bit. All right guys, sorry about that. I had to take the Tarte Pro Palette and um, this is the shade of blush I used. And then I just went in with that highlighter I don't know what happened. My phone just stopped recording, obviously, but that's all I did there. And then it went in with a LA Girl. This is a gel liner, and it is in the shade Metallic Copper. And I just went in and put some in on my waterline. I then took a lip liner in the shade Chic, and I went ahead and lined my lips. Everybody knows how to line lips, so I'll go ahead and skip through this part. I then took my lippy from ColourPop, it's in the shade Sueño de Coco, it's my fave, and I just went ahead and applied some on my lips. Then take your favorite setting spray, shake it up, and lock that shit into place. <laughs> 